Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Just coming on to uh, finish off the project that I'm doing. So this is my take for um, uh, the lovely paper and twine Ashley's um, tag collaboration. So on the 10th of January, she pulled out two prompts because January's got 31 days. So when there are 31 days in the month, she pulls out two prompts. And on other days, week, months, she pulls out just the one prompt. And the idea is to make a tag using either one of the prompts or both of the prompts or two different tags uh, separately. But anyway, I've decided to combine the two prompts in my tag. And the prompts were tone and lively. So what I've decided to do is I, I've made my tag using different colours of uh, rustic um, um, brown, orange, those sorts of tones, as you can see in strips of paper across, just cut out my tag, rounded the edges and I've made my tag shape at the top. And then I've used this stencil and this is one of Julia's stencils, actually, Julia McNeil Crafts. And I've gone over it, over the base with um, Rusty Hinge, because I thought that that colour was along the same tones. Mm. And then I was thinking, well, what can I do for Lively? And then I was thinking, well, um, for Lively, I, I was thinking some animal that's energetic. And I thought of butterflies because they're always flitting from place to place. So I've cut out some butterflies in papers which um, have similar tones to the to the background. And um, and so this is what I thought of doing. So this die uh, is actually really pretty. It's got three layers, but see, it's broken here. But anyway, I can, when I stick it down, that won't matter. So I was thinking of doing something like this, um, you see, and then this, these little ones I cut out of a different paper, um, something along these lines. Um, no, how was it? Oh, well, <laughs> it's typical, isn't it? When you, you know, I had the design and then now I've forgotten it. Let me see. Wait a moment. I think it went like this, something like this. So this this butterfly here, it needs to have it. It just needs to go off the edge because this wing isn't quite right. So um, yeah, so I thought something like that. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to try and stick this down with some glue. Um, I come to the end of all my my glues. So I'm going to use this. Um, stick. I don't really like using these glue sticks, but anyway, needs must. So I'm um, just going to try and go around the edge of this butterfly because I, I don't really want all the wings to all of the wings to be stuck down. And um, yeah, so this is an open collaboration that Ash Ashley holds uh, once a month. Uh, I think it's been going for. Maybe a couple of years now, I'm not sure. Um, and uh, and it's great fun. I mean, I haven't I haven't joined in all the prompts because some of the prompts I just couldn't get to grips with. So last month, for example, was strong and Pompeii, and I I, I just couldn't think what to do now. Let's see if I can get this wing up. A bit. There we go. So that's that one. One should be quite easy. Is that one? Let's stick this one down there. So I, I hope you are all having a good weekend. Uh, strange, isn't it, to be back into normal life after Christmas? Um, we look forward to Christmas so 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 much, and then how quickly it take it passes by. Um, so, right, let's stick this one down. Mm, something a bit straight like this. Something like that. Now this one. This one I just want to stick the 
the middle bit down. So, like so, and then this last one needs to be stuck down because, as I said, it needs to stick over the edge a little bit because in the die the paper moved. <laughs> so, difficult. I just want to cut this bit off. And this bit off. Like so. so there we are. So I think um, some gems maybe are, are called for. So let's see what we've got in, in these tones. So yeah, I, I've got a drawer full of gems here. And the, and, um, okay, so I've got this big pot of... Um, Gems from Diamond Art, and uh, the ones from from uh, when I did my brother's owl. Some of and some of you will have seen that uh, are in here. So let's see if we can find some of those. So there's a, these sort of brownie, and um, I've got white, and then I've got this sort of rusty colour. I think we're an orangey colour. Maybe we'll just keep going and see what we find. So I've got this colour. Brown. This colour. So there's loads of, uh, of um, leftovers from the diamond art. So I've heard a lot of people saying they want to use up their stash this year, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, I'm also on a mission to use up my stash and to use things that I haven't used before. So that you know that I've bought perhaps in the last year and but I haven't actually used. So I have achieved that in this um, uh, tag because I hadn't used this particular butterfly, this, this butterfly uh, dye before. So I'm quite happy that, uh, that I've managed to use it. It's, it's very pretty. I like it. It comes in three different sizes. So I just use the smallest two. Okay, so I think um, that's how I'm going to go. But I've just realised I haven't got any, um, any glue that I can stick these things down with at the moment. Um, and to use the glue stick is going to be a bit... Uh, a bit um, messy so I'm going to go off camera and finish this tag off but I think you can more or less get the gist of it so hopefully I'll be able to come back and show you the finished tag there we are so I've um, I've gone over the the tag with some gems and I've also put some gems in the bodies of the butterfly um, and I think I want to make a little black mark um, for the antennae sorry I'm trying to find a fine pen here we are for, for the antennae of these butterflies here just want to kind of highlight that a bit these two are okay and this one like so put some dots on the end there we are and I think I'm going to go around the edge with um, a stitch border. Just, just to frame it. So this is my first tag of 2024. Um, so I hope the first of many. So there are quite a few collaborations um, popping up now. Uh, if you haven't seen them, there's um, going to be the one card, one sketch collaboration with Lisa, the crafting diva. And Jane, the crafting shed Davis, is continuing her all things whatever. Um, and so for the next three months from February, it's going to be all things sweet treats. So that will be interesting. So that's for another three months. Um, then if you're into art, there's, um, uh, make art, make art with Martha, who's in America and she 
pulls out a prompt once a month. Um, I also seen another one which is about using your stash and using at least three items, um, one of which haven't used before or haven't used for a long time. That's also um, in America, but it's nothing to stop us. Um, nothing to stop us joining in. Um, I think I can't remember what that lady's name is, but I'll try and link her in the um, description box. Um, it's something Steph or oh, Steph something. Um, she's new to my channel and I went over to subscribe to her and she I noticed that she was having this challenge. She's quite new to YouTube as well. She's only been on YouTube a year, so um, be nice to give her some support. So her the prompt for um, this current prompt is um, winter or snowflakes. And so let's see. Anyway, I'm, I'm hoping to join in with that. And um, and of course, the lovely Hillary of Pink Bubble Cards is, has started up her alphabet challenge again. So. So there's lots of uh, challenges around if you want to get involved. Uh, I think they're great fun. Of course, there's um, Willie Steph's um, art club as well. Which, uh, yeah, So loads and loads and loads of, of collaborations going on, which I think are great because they um, kind of stretch our imagination a bit and perhaps force us to use things which we haven't used for a while. <laughs> anyway, take care, everybody. Have a lovely day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.